change that you have to change? Nothing to get hung about. Yes, we have to say it. Remember, this is just a football game, no matter who wins or loses. An unspeakable tragedy confirmed to us by ABC News in New York City. John Lennon, outside of his apartment building on the west side of New York City, the most famous, perhaps, of all of the Beatles, shot twice in the back, rushed to Roosevelt Hospital, dead on arrival hard to go back to the game after that news flash which in duty found we had to take frank indeed it is so that building right there that you see right there that's the dakota so many famous people have lived in that building. Lillian Gish, Judy Garland, Leonard Bernstein, Connie Chung, Rosie O'Donnell. But most famous of all, John Lennon and Yoko Ono. Yoko Ono still lives here. This is the location on December 8th, 1980, where John Lennon was murdered by Mark David Chapman, right here. Mr. Chapman came up behind him and called to him, Mr. Lennon, as he arrived at that doorway. And then in a combat stance, he fired, he emptied the Charter Arms 38 caliber gun that he had with him and uh, shot John Lennon. The news spread quickly. Within minutes, fans, the curious, and reporters are at the Dakota apartment building waiting for news from Roosevelt Hospital. The first reaction, disbelief. Why would someone stalk and kill John Lennon? And why now, when Lennon was just coming out of five years of seclusion? Almost immediately, a vigil of stunned fans gathered at the Dakota. I just told these people here I feel like the 80s have begun. Then the questions begin. Who was this strange assassin? Witnesses say he had been hanging around outside the Dakota for days, waiting for Lennon. So nice. And really. clean cut. And clean cut. He was, you know. From the little bit he spoke to us, he just seemed like a really nice, genuine, honest person. Six hours before he fired four shots into Lennon, Mark David Chapman asked Lennon for his autograph. He was a fan, like thousands of others but he let fantasy go out of control. He bought a gun, flew from Hawaii to New York with $2,000. The state prosecutor charges premeditated execution. Whatever, Chapman is taken to Bellevue Hospital for 30 days of psychiatric observation. His attorney tells John Slattery, Chapman seemed irrational. Does he tell you why he shot the man? He gave me a reason. He gave me several reasons. Did they seem to you to be sane reasons for killing John Lennon? Well, the result was I went out of the court and I made an application to have him examined by a couple of psychiatrists. Obviously, I didn't consider that to be sane reasons. Outside the Dakota, the vigil goes on as the reaction becomes overreaction. Two suicides reported, and Yoko Ono pleads with fans not to despair and calls for today's silent vigil. In the next week, psychiatrists must decide if Chapman is fit to stand trial. Friends say he wasn't a violent man. Chapman's wife says only that she's sorry for Lennon's family. The word shot through the city nearly as fast as the bullets that had prompted the news. And while it's almost certain that John Lennon had died even before he reached Roosevelt Hospital's emergency room, his fans, most of them just curious, but many of them visibly distraught, came in a continuous flow. Witnesses told police Lennon was shot near the door to his apartment building as he and Yoko Ono returned from a recording studio. I saw John and Yoko get out of the, get out of the limousine. They, they walked into the gate and, oh God, let me just, let me take it to me. And then I heard four, four or five shots. They were ear shattering. They were ear shattering. I heard Yoko, and I heard a woman screaming. It was Yoko. She was screaming, help me. This evening, John Lennon arrived at the emergency room at the Roosevelt uh, Hospital. He was dead on, at the time of his arrival. 
Numerous resuscitative efforts were made after his arrival in the hospital, including transfusions, surgical procedures, other procedures. But in spite of the effort of many physicians and after many procedures, we were unable to restore the life of Mr. Lennon. So it's really, really windy on the Upper West Side, like super windy. So that was all voiceover. Very surreal standing there. For some reason, it seems across the street it's less windy. Uh, the gentleman that worked there was very nice, very kind, spoke to me a little bit about uh, uh, how many people stop by. And so it's, it's, a, it's constant, it's all day, and they don't mind. They know that it's fans and of John Lennon. And uh, they're respectful of the fans just as long as the fans are respectful of the property. Yeah, but I had been out there a couple times before, and one time when I was young, I was a young teen, I went and uh, up and I asked the guy who was working there at the time, he said, excuse me, I was young, is this a Dakota? Like in a little kid voice, and he just looked at me, and he said, what the fuck does my hat say? Kind of. Not nice. But they've changed their outlook, I guess. Changed their attitude a bit. Now, I'm showing you, <laughs> I just made a wrong turn. I'm gonna show you the Strawberry Fields Memorial. It's right across the street. So there's the Dakota. You just walk right into Central Park, go in, make a right, and you see the Strawberry Fields Memorial. Let's go. Good evening. It's almost 24 hours since John Lennon was murdered and people are still outside his apartment house tonight. They wanna share their shock and grief and pay him tribute. John Lennon was a unique singer and a songwriter, and he and the Beatles almost seemed to speak for an entire generation. As he changed over the years, so did his fans. Most would say thank you to the man who put his brand of music in our lives, but last night one fan wanted to take that music from everybody with a gun. So yeah, that's the John Lennon Memorial right there. Life ended far, far too soon. Such a beloved figure. I mean, that's without, I know, I know. What do you say after all that? I have to go into a place like that. And then the memorial afterwards and the lovely singing by the one lovely woman there. I hope Mark David Chapman never gets out. He applies for parole all the time, I think, or every now and again, whenever he's allowed to apply for parole. He's never gotten out. He better never get out. Better never. He never should get out. And I don't, that's not, it's not just because he killed a beloved pop figure. Every life is important. He took a human life, deliberately. Catch her in the rye in your pocket. That made you do it. 
thought John Lennon was a phony, that made you do it. Whatever his stupid ass reasons were, fuck him. What the fuck does my hat say? I'm not wearing one, but if it did, it'd say Mark David Chapman, go yourself. Oh, I never swear, but it just makes me angry. I hope, uh, hope John Lennon is at peace. Peace to you. Peace out.